Welcome back. Imagine being able to rewrite the past, or better yet, sketch the future. One Army veteran does that every day during his lunch hour. Michelle Michael introduces us to a man known as the painter in the park. If you think these walls are white, mostly it's... Andrew Washington will tell you they're... Blank. He likes them. <laughs> it's like a canvas. At noon sharp, most every day. This is lunch. He stares at another blank slate yeah. and begins a story. I'm trying to create a scene to make it as real as possible. In the middle of a park, kids stop playing. I was on the way to my mom and I saw those nice paintings. Moms stop talking. I think he really enjoys painting this way. Some paintings are fact. Yep, it happened a long time ago. Some fiction. Mm -hmm. He died. Some personal. The people kind of look real. Just what's sad about it is that there is a dead person right there. Most of Andrew's art is about the military. Oh, a war. Now I can see. As a child, I didn't want to be an artist. I, I didn't. Andrew was a soldier long before he started painting war scenes. He served in Gulf War I, Bosnia, and Iraq the second time. Well, I was in Baghdad in 2003. And I've seen uh, uh, quite a few Iraqis, fresh kills and, and um, it just helps me cope with what I experienced at that time. In 2005, he was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. I came back and I thought that everything was fine. I was normal like anybody else. For a while, he literally brushed it off. I just keep it to myself. And eventually, the proof piled up in every one of his paintings. I didn't see it. My wife noticed it. Before the war, they were happy. They were live characters, up close. Now they're, the characters are distant and alone. There's a lot of empty space and there is darkness. Andrew turned to therapy. He learned he couldn't erase the past, but he could make it look different. So you see how all this is messed up? Watch this. Wow. He sees what most of us can't. Like the grass here, I don't see green. I see yellow, brown, black. Through art, he learned to look at PTSD differently. And that's how he hangs hope on the wall, where before, there was nothing. If I could paint the future for our troops, I would paint everybody home. <laughs> Michelle Michael, Heidelberg, Germany.